All right, so let's talk about operators in Clojure. Now, if you've done any sort of development before in any language, you will know what operators are. They are basically a symbol that tells the system to perform either a mathematical or logical manipulation of the um, operands, okay? Um, so we have, in Clojure, we have four types of um, operators. We have arithmetic, relational, logical, and bitwise. And we will go through all of these um, operators and see what exactly they do. So let's talk about arithmetic operators, right? So we have um, a few of them. Uh, some are very basic, simple uh, mathematical operators. Some are a bit more, um, you know, a shortcut for different um, operations, okay? So we have, of course, addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These are very obvious. Um, we pretty much know what they do exactly, okay? Um, we have increment or inc, and that will just increment the value of the operand by one, okay? We have the opposite, we have dec, uh, that will decrement uh, the value by one. We have max, okay? We'll return the largest of the arguments. And we have min, um, which will return the smallest, the minimum. Okay, and we have the remainder or rem, which is basically the remainder of dividing the first number by the second. All right, so moving on, we have relational operators. Okay, so this will test the relation between two operands. So we have equal. Um, that will test the equality, not equal, obviously the uh, not equality or the difference. We have smaller than, smaller than or equal to, greater than, and greater than or equal to. So these are quite um, standard, quite basic. You have them in other languages. They might be slightly different, like not equal, um, but they are they're probably on in all languages. And now let's move to the logical operators. So we have, um, we have the AND operator, we have the OR, and we have the NOT operator, okay? So these are logical operators that, um, that operate on Boolean values, true or false. And finally, we have bitwise operators. Now, I don't know if you've worked with these before. You could, in principle, um, you know, have developed uh, code and not worry about bitwise. It's probable that you won't worry too much about bitwise operators in Clojure either. But I find them quite easy and quite interesting. So, um, you know, why not talk about them? So we have bit and, okay, well, it will basically compare bit by bit every um, you know, the, the input that you give it, and it will check whether um, those bits that correspond to each other will, um, you know, it will perform an AND on those bits. So something like 0, 1, 0, 1 and uh, bit AND 1, 1, 0, 0 will give us 0, 1, 0, 0. All right, now we have the OR or bit OR, and that will basically be the same process, but with OR, okay? So the same input, 0101, bit OR 1100 will give us 1101, all right? We have bit XOR or exclusive OR, and with those operators, it will give us this result. And of course, the bit NOT, which will negate the bits, and with the input, uh, with this input, it will give us this output. So um, let's talk a bit about operator precedence, okay? Because in a lot of languages, you have to worry about um, which operator comes first, especially around mathematical operators. Um, in Lisp languages in general, and in Clojure in particular, you do not have to worry about that. And obviously this is because um, all the expressions are uh, surrounded by parentheses, so we can, um, you know, we can define our own order in the way we call these operators on the operands, okay? So if we set, you know, 
plus before division, it will, um, you know, obviously do the plus before division, depending on how we encapsulate those into the lists that we create. Um, so that's it. Um, operators are quite simple and quite obvious in Clojure, um, but they do contain pretty much everything we will need for um, a general purpose language. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you for watching as usual, and I will see you soon. Thank you.